stature. I feel like you could have given me some lead up into that instead of just clapping. All right, un unrecord. <laughs> All right guys, welcome to season two of Wine and Rations. First of all, I just wanna say thank you guys for coming back. We're super stoked to be back in Montana at my boy Andy Stump's house, crushing these episodes. We've had such a blast and this show is taking off. Thank you guys so much. In this episode, we're gonna be crushing a Lithuanian MRE, which I've been told not to call it MRE because that's from America only for you MRE snobs. And it's a Lithuanian ration. Either way, we're gonna be opening this and my friend Andy is gonna get it paired with the best beverage possible to make it edible. Because as we all know from the season one, rations, MREs, whatever you wanna call them, typically they suck ass. And I have to eat them because Andy won't. That's correct. <laughs> I knew what to expect from the Russian and the Chinese MRE. I actually don't know what to expect from this. I have no idea. I mean, it's uh, Eastern Bloc for sure, so maybe, maybe along the lines of the Russian MRE, we'll see. Which, that would be sad for me, because the Russian one was really bad. Well, maybe it's somewhere in between. I hope so, please God. Let's Anytime it. it comes in a tin, I get really nervous. Can you feel what's in a tin? It's not in a tin. Okay. So we're doing much better. There may be one thing in a tin. All right, this has a pull tab, which is it's pretty smart. Yeah. Why do we not do that? Is there any, any I feel like, like the modern ones do have that. Do they have that now? I'm not gonna use the pull tab because I have Andy's half face blades knife set here and I feel very privileged to be able to use them because these are freaking awesome. So I'm gonna take this little sweet dagger and I'm gonna open it with this. <sighs> Oof, like butter. It doesn't meet any of the criteria for a dagger, but continue. <laughs> Someone's been watching Forge and Fire. I mean. I've never made a canister Damascus, but I feel like I could. <laughs> Obviously, it'd be a ladder Damascus. <laughs> For all you Forge and Fire fans, who doesn't feel like a knife creating pro, forging pro, after watching every season that that show has? Or just the ability to shit on people's work. That's right. Yeah. I will tell everyone how their canister Damascus sucks ass, and how they didn't use enough layers, and how could you possibly forget the whiteout, you dumbass? because I've made zero blades in my life. Same. Let's do this. I'm already liking the accessory pack better. Yeah, and then you get to actually see what's inside, which is really nice since we can't read anything. Oh, this is interesting. They did a... Oh, a tray for food heating. How does that work? Oh, look, it's got instructions. It's a tray for food heating. You're a dick. <laughs> How does it work? You make the tray. Which I actually you don't know how to do it? that. Yeah, so there you go. Ass. Mm. Look at they got a picture. Ooh, there's metal in here. They already know that that... Oh, this is separate. That's the instructions. This is the carrying case? Mm. What? Mm. That's like a legit like piece of... This is an art project. They can't give this to Americans. Hazelnuts. These are. This will be a ninja star. It Someone's getting fucked up if you put this in our MREs. I'm whipping this at the new guy immediately, as hard as I can. Oh no way! Check this out. Dry fuel tablets to go underneath that tray. That's the heating mechanism for these oh, things. Oh what? Hang on, let me try to build this. Single zip tie. Obviously, this would be for your penis. That's perfectly sized for you. What do I do with the rest of that space? Full book of Lithuanian matches. Oh, dude, these guys are just making a party pack. This is fun. I'm gonna make this. Can I make this? You wanna make it? Yes. Yeah. So to take the legs down on the short yep. side. That's easy enough. Lift them up on the long side. Lift them up on the long side, okay. So I'm assuming then that one oh, of these. Fuck, it's sharp. Yeah, it's metal. Pointy metal. Yeah. You could stab somebody with it if you needed to. And then you would take one of these out, slide it underneath. Okay. And light it on fire. I'm willing to do that. It's your house. I don't, I'm I don't not do willing it. to do that right here. We can, <laughs> we can talk about doing that. <laughs> How do you activate it? Did it did with you a say fucking that? match. I knew that. Or we could go the Green Bray style, which would be rubbing two dicks together until they start smoking. <laughs> I'm offended. 
We would at never. At the accuracy of that? Yeah. <laughs> Who told him? So let's leave this out though, because we can simulate heating it, I guess. I'm That's pretty cool though. That's neat that you get a mechanism. I'm actually just kind of stoked on that. All right, so then we'll take. So the accessories are better, but the volume of actual food. We got hazelnuts, um, rusks, SU-1, no big deal. Mm. I like the dash twos, but whatever. <laughs> and that, so this, I mean, I wonder if this is an all day MRE or if this is a, I get it. What the hell? We Inches. got another heater. Well, maybe in an environment where you couldn't light a fire. Okay, that's fair. Tactical stuff for tactical reasons. This is the Lithuanian for rock or something here. Okay. Yep. That's a lot of instructions for pour water in bag. Yeah. Cut across the top, fill the water to the water fill line. This is actually in English on the back. Oh, sweet. Open the pouch and enjoy the hot meal. So just like the American MREs, these are just water activated chemical heaters, which smell terrible. Do not use those inside of vehicles or enclosed spaces. Oh, there's a chunk of meat in there. Are you surprised at the lack of actual food in this though? Yeah, I feel like I would be left a little hungry. It may not be like an American design though, because the American designs, in my understanding, are a complete day's worth of calories, right? Aren't they like 1,500 to 2,000 calories? Yeah, okay, yeah. so you can get Maybe you have to have multiple of these. The, the main meal seems kind of big. I mean, I'll give them that, but what's in this? Are you gonna do this or no? Good. That's the accessories. So the, we got sugar. Chocolate. Thing of sugar. We got some Meduse for you. What's Meduse? I don't know. Lemon flavor, instant drink. Black tea. Dude, you know what's not in here? Hmm. Coffee. That's trash. How do you not have coffee? Sugar. Is this honey? It's That's Meduse. It. Stop saying it's Meduse. <laughs> <laughs> you don't know what the fuck Meduse is. Nope. Honey? Yeah. So yeah, it's Meduse. <laughs> so this, I mean, what are we talking here? You would just put this across if you did have the, if you're gonna go with the pucks and heat it up? Feel like that's gonna get unevenly cooked for sure maybe you go long ways go long ways oh i see maybe if you, so you got three heaters one sits here two and then three and that'll give you one and then after 10 minutes flip to the other side maybe that was smart i nailed it this is <laughs> eat that medus i have some good medus man medus is delicious mm. Oh, this is stewed pork with groats and sauce. Oh, shit. <laughs> Let's do it. So the Medusa is delicious. That's just some natural honey, which is amazing. Oh, you need to com combine the Medusa with these SU1s. I don't want to. That's, what, like... that's what we're here for. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh, that is potent. Give that a whiff. <coughs> Ooh. That's strong. Ugh. That tastes like some, Let's get some horrible, on those. horrible meat. And it's just a, just a chunk. Just a nasty. Yeah. <laughs> you like it, fucking weirdos. All right. This is, gosh, damn. Dip it in the Medusa. It's not gonna help the fact that it's like a rock. Probably tastes better though. I feel like if you eat these, you'd be immediately dehydrated for hours. Yeah. Or you need to go to the dentist. These suck. All right, let's do the main meal. See what we got. I feel like the one consistent thing across all the MREs so far, regardless of the country, is the coagulated fat. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Are they really in the army if they're not eating disgusting oh. coagulated fat? And we don't even have a sauce to put on that for you. Yeah, that's just, Lithuanians not doing a good job. Would you be happy with this meal? Like if you got this in the field? 
No, it's missing quite a few things. Yeah. Maybe we're spoiled, but and what like what? You know what I mean? What else do you do with that besides just eat nuts? Which two or three nuts? Some people fine, do that even but, without an MRE, but. Talking about the pairing with our gay house <laughs> okay. wine. <laughs> Let me eat. All right. Have we noticed that my chef chef skills have completely just deteriorated the more we do these episodes? Your plating skills are trash. <laughs> I've watched some Gordon Ramsay. He'd be all over your shit for presentation. Yeah, he would. What makes a match a safety match? Like know. it doesn't light? Yeah, <laughs> it doesn't create fire for the safest experience possible. Oh, it lights. All right. We're going to go with the wine for this one. A lighter color for the lighter color stew we'll call it yeah this is a limited dish this is rosé bubbles mm. slash wine i feel like they're trying to tell us something with that bottle with the or the design they're celebrating diversity mm. and colors mm. it's the sound of freshness you really want to aerate oh wow that doesn't look like wine at all it's bubbles it's carbonated wine carbonated wine I've never heard of carbonated wine. Have you ever seen a wine that color? No. Yeah. All right. I'm just reading what's on here. It's bright, fruity, mm. and flavorful. From Walla Walla, Washington, USA. Washington typically pumps out some pretty good stuff as far as beers go, but I think they might be behind the curve when it comes to wine based on this can. This is like the color of my piss after like a long ruck. Mm. Wouldn't you say? Yeah, a little rhabdo. Not much of a nose to it. It's supposed to be bright and flavorful and fruity. It's fruity, all right. I can't even identify one fruit to associate this flavor with. What does that mean? You said that it doesn't have a nose to it. Like just, just any kind of aroma that you could identify? Mm-hmm. The nose would be the smell. Just any smell? I think you would be able to associate that, given that that's what the nose does, is it smells. One would think. It smells a little bit like bath soap. That does smell like bath soap. Like some... Uh... Like children's, like Jergens bath soap. Yeah that you would put on your kid. And actually, this is the color of the water, depending if you get the pink bottle. This is the color of the bath water. Mm. If you got bath water that's this color, we got some serious issues. Yeah, it's kids. We drinking it? Go for it. Okay. I tried my sip. It spit it right the fuck out. Mm. Acidic be the number one tasting note. Yeah, it's super acidic. Metallic. Almost like if you went to a place that does like CNC machining and you ate some of the aluminum shavings. Yeah. It's kind of what it tastes like. <laughs> I can picture them gathering up yeah. all those shavings. And filtering this liquid through that. Yeah, or, or just letting it ferment in those shavings. Whew. Like all making right. it more, it's kind of hoppy. The goal of all of this though is to pair it with the meal in front of you. So let's not get past the issue that you need to. Uh... So what are you looking for when you're trying to pair the MRE the ration, rather, yep. with the, the beverage. What do you, since I don't know anything about this, like what are you hoping that you do for me? What are you hoping that I experience? So if it's heavy, I try to go with light. If the okay. meal is lighter, I try to go with heavy. This one looks like it's gonna be just a total gut bomb. Mm -hmm. So a little bit of a sparkling and bubbles. And maybe if you took this gay house wine into the field, you would feel better about yourself or those that were around you. So it would just uplift your spirits with the carbonated bubbles. Mm. Your spirits would be like the bubbles. It's a metaphor for who you are and where you are in your nice. station in life. Love it. All right, so let's try the pairing and see if we feel better about ourselves and where we are in our lives. Not with the plastic spoon though, right? Let me use your baller black spoons. These things are nice. Okay, so I think the hazelnuts, nuts or hazelnuts? Hazelnuts, we could avoid yeah. those. You tried that with your Medusa. Let's see, there's, I think there's a chunky, oh, look at that. 
So I hope the consistency of these things makes its way through camera. Yeah. Because you actually have to look for the meat. That's the interesting part. It's like one of those uh, toys that the kids open up on YouTube and you have to see what's inside. You get all this coagulated fat and if you press around, then you'll get a hard spot and then you know that's where the chunk of meat is. So I found it. And then the meat is almost reminiscent of like a, like an aged salmon. Which would be a great pairing for a lighter wine. Yeah. I use that term sparingly. <laughs> with this particular beverage. So let's give that a shot. So I don't, I have no idea what this is because we can't read the damn box. Um, so I don't know how to prepare mentally uh, for the experience, but let's see what happens. Mm. A little rough. Yeah. <laughs> A tuna? It's tuna y? Porky? I don't know. All the all the meat kind of meshed together. And it's really hard to like decipher what these meats are. It's just if you can't tell the difference between pork and salmon, you're not having a good day. <laughs> <laughs> They're very distinct. Yeah. Let's see if but how's the, the wine. The wine helps. Let me see. Maybe it'll sword. draw out one of those meat flavors. Mm. Not really helping. It's not helping. It's okay. It just went from like a, a questionable meat that have I cannot identify to solid battery acid in my mouth uh, with some bubbles, light and airy. Uh, so just trying to poison myself. So maybe that'll clean out your palate so you can take another bite mm. and determine what type of meat it is. Sure, let's do it. Oh yeah, that's a good chunk right there. That's a good chunk. You guys want that? You yeah. want that? You want to join the military? Make a difference? There you go. Get used to it. I cannot call what that is. There's no like identifiable texture. It's just a, it's a sad pattern that we're starting to see with all <laughs> these things. And it's just not good for me. None of it. Bland. Yeah, this is nothing. It's, it's got the texture of condensed tuna. Like if they took, you know, just a can of tuna and just compressed the dog shit out of it. Try some of the Lithuanian chocolate with the pairing of the wine. That's good. How about with the wine? Mm. It's not, it's not how you do that, but. <laughs> Look, it's eating the chocolate. Actually, if you put anything into a carbonated beverage like that, that's what it'll do. And someone's been watching Joe Rogan. What's the deal? What's the Joe deal? Rogan? <laughs> what's, the, what's the guy on Joe Rogan that you said that got you to microwave the wine? Uh, Neil deGrasse Tyson. Neil deGrasse, sorry. Someone's been watching some Neil deGrasse. No, no, he didn't get me to microwave the wine. I understand why a microwave works now, because it excites the water molecules. That's, <laughs> so why, you can, so he... that's why you can put a paper plate in the microwave and it doesn't actually burn. Because it... The molecules are excited? What does that mean? It moves around and it heats up. Just moves molecules. Water molecules, specifically. Weird science. How's that with mm. the chocolate? Helps. Really? Yeah. I mean, what couldn't? Right. <laughs> <laughs> I think dirt would help that. Well, here's to Lithuanian MRE. Lithuanian MRE. Enjoy. Thanks, guys. Thanks for watching this episode of Wine and Rations. Great to see you guys back. I hope you enjoyed it. See you on the next episode. So bad. And we're out. Ah, it's so bad. Yeah, good call. That's. I am tapped. <laughs> <laughs>